again, everyone. Today I wanted to make a quick unboxing video. And I know in my last unboxing video I promised myself that I would have some self-control and <laughs> that was going to be the last unboxing purchase video for the year but here we are <laughs> what I forgot was that it's almost Christmas and my birthday as well so So I wanted to unbox these two fragrances that I purchased from Aura Fragrance with you. So let's start with the first one. Now this one sounds a little loose. And um, I want your opinion, or I might make a poll. Um, I want to know if you guys prefer the unboxing sounds, or if you would prefer that I just get straight to the fragrance and cut out the whole unboxing process. guesses to what the fragrance may be. Kind of sticky at the bottom when I removed the, my address. Okay. Luna Rosa Ocean The Eau de Parfum I got this From Aura Fragrance For around $80 And on the description it says that the Packaging is the retail packaging But it says not for sale sell it to you <laughs> I mean I'm not complaining but it does feel a little a little sus to me I still feel like I'm doing something illegal sometimes when I'm purchasing these fragrances Apparently 
that doesn't stop me from buying them. So here we have the box. Without the wrap. And I have the eau de toilette right here. Because I wanted to see the similarities and the differences. So let's set this over here. Let's unbox this new fragrance. This welcome addition to my collection. off like so. And let's give it a spray. I don't like putting these caps back on, but okay. Right off the top I get a Sweet. It smells almost like Ambroxan. This is not aquatic as the name suggests. And now I'm curious to see what the other toilet, how it compares, because it's been a while since I've sprayed it. seems more aromatic and powdery while the eau de parfum leans more sweet almost resinous woody Ambroxan But I enjoy both of them Translucent. The eau de toilette is, you can kind of see the juice. When I saw this on sale on my favorite discounter website, I had to pull the trigger because I love this fragrance line. If you've seen my previous videos, I've carbon and black 
I'm looking to get all of the fragrances from the line that are not discontinued, which I think is the original and sport. So space for my second purchase from Aura Fragrance. This one came in a box. next fragrance I've been keeping an eye out for um, at least on Aura fragrance because I know that Aura has very competitive prices and I know Joma shop and sometimes fragrance by carries this fragrance but it's always over $200. I think if you look for this fragrance on Joma Shop, it's at $300 right now. Let me make sure I don't have my address in here. Okay, so they included this as like padding. much either way the fragrances side effect by Initio and uh, I like I said I have been on Aura Fragrance checking every day to see when this would come back in stock there and just a couple of days ago it went into stock and I didn't let this chance pass me by because it was, I think, 179 at Aura Fragrance. When, if you check Joma Shop or other websites, this fragrance is over $300. This is not even a tester, it doesn't say not for sale on the package. This is the full retail packaging. This is Initio's side effect. And if you've seen my previous videos, I also have Musk Therapy, which is my first initial fragrance. I think the sleeve came off with the actual box cover. Yes, it did. first. And I just 
just love the detail that the packaging has. It's just initial bottles and the packaging is just so simplistic but so elegant at the same time. Okay, let's get this open. Let's pretend like y'all didn't already see the bottle. Do notice a little damage here, but I don't mind. And here is the bottle. Now I did have a sample of this before buying. I would not have been looking for this fragrance every day for the past year if I hadn't smelled this already. cinnamon, saffron, rum, a little smoky, I think it has tobacco, and woods. This was, this is probably my most sought after, well, my most desired, like fall and winter time initial fragrance. And musk therapy was my spring and summer um, from this line that I most desired. And now I have them. Bottle tapping isn't that good. The glass is thick, or I don't even know what material this is. Does it feel, does it sound like glass? But anyway, let's talk about the fragrance notes. I forgot to mention that. Let's look up the fragrance notes for Luna Rosa Ocean Eau de Parfum. So this fragrance was released in 2023. The main accords are sweet, fresh, synthetic, spicy, and powdery. The top notes is just grapefruit. Heart notes is just frankincense, and base notes include amber, extreme, and vanilla. And the amber extreme note has a trademark. A Prada exclusive note. I guess their version of Ambroxan. It's like I do get Ambroxan as well as Amber, so it's probably a mixture created by them. And I already put all my fingerprints on this bottle. But I 
and from first impressions, I'm really enjoying this one. I love witty fragrance notes. And then just real quick, a comparison with the Eau de Toilette, even though we didn't unbox this. This one was released in 2021. The main accords are fresh, aquatic, synthetic, citrus, and spicy. The top notes of this fragrance are bergamot, mugwort, and pink pepper. The heart notes include iris, sage, lavender, saffron, and And the base notes include musk, Haitian vetiver, and patchouli. This is a more fresh take of the DNA, but honestly, this could be its own fragrance line because these two if you made me do a blind smelling of these two I would tell you that they are from different fragrance lines because they don't smell similar at least to me off first impressions Pleasant, but different. And then the big boy right here. Initio's side effect was released in 2016. The main accords are sweet. Spicy, oriental, woody, and gourmand. And the fragrance notes include rum, vanilla, cinnamon, hedion, saffron, tobacco, and sandalwood. I'm so happy that I finally have this fragrance in my collection. And just in time for the cold days. So I will be definitely be putting this fragrance to use for the next couple of months unless it gets super hot <laughs> real quick which it might down where I live here but that was it for my video wanted to show you my new additions. I hope you enjoyed. And real quick, I want to say thank you to all that subscribed. There are 84 of you that are subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much. 
every day when I check my account and I'm just in shock that I see three new people subscribe, two new people subscribe, it just gives me so much joy seeing that people like my content enough to want to subscribe and see more. So, I will see you in the next video. I have a lot of plans to, um, for content. Stay tuned for episode 2 of my Rack Store Fragrance Hunting. And I might have a sound assortment video.